Look, nothing's an accident. Cultural significance here. Look at that, nothing's an accident. I'll be bringing the first one UFC event to Africa. Watch. What's up? They want pictures of us together. Boom. Hey, if you don't work out tonight, I'll just run and stuff. Where's just let me know. We're gonna like soon. Okay, right I'll probably Give me like a little bit of time, a couple of points, and we get that youngest champion gonna be. I think Robbie's, you know, he's about as good as it gets. He's got a great history, uh, and he's really popular. So I think, you know, I think that can definitely play in my favor. It's a great fight for me. Like I kind of said, you know, it's not, it's not the easiest fight, but as far as proving how good I am as a fighter, it's a really good fight. What do you think of Ben Askren? I mean, a uh, hell of a competitor, a guy who's wrestled all over the world uh, at a high level, obviously, and a guy who's fought all over the world and who's undefeated. So obviously he uh, figures out a way to get the job done. I didn't realize he had so many freckles. He's the type of guy that I would have beat the shit out of in college. And I, it was nothing that I loved more, even wrestling in college, than going in there and being able to shut up guys like that. You can't run from it now. The fight's here. No matter what you say, no matter what you do, I'm going to beat your ass on March 2nd, Saturday night. I just want to get in his face and know I'm coming to fuck you up Saturday. I'm not, I'm not about to talk. I just got to go out there once again and do exactly what I'm capable of. He has to do more. He has to, he has to do something spectacular to beat me. I just have to be myself. I don't care what John has planned. I don't care at all. I'm gonna fight the way I would normally fight. I'm gonna attack him from bell to bell. I'm, I'm gonna be in his face, and, and if he can deal with that, then props to him, but I don't think he can. He'll say things like, you know, John's arrogance won't allow him to take me serious and stuff like that, and that's an insult. Whatever he needs to do to get himself mentally prepared. Uh, but despite how big of a favorite I am, I've been prepared the same way, if not more, you know, aggressively for this fight. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, guys. Fight week was, was amazing this week. Uh, you know, uh, I feel like I'm definitely a different mentality uh, as a fighter, as a human, as a person. I feel like I've always had the fire, always had the passion. Just now it burns a little, a little more fierce, a little longer. I got a burning desire to win on Saturday and get back in the wind column and get back to the top, man. I, I'm excited to get back to being a world champion. But uh, it's one fight at a time. I got a tough test in front of me with Pedro Munoz. I see a lot of nervousness with uh, Pedro. He's gonna know and find out early on that uh, I'm on a different level. When we were at 185, you know, one of the things that was missing was that he wasn't having a ton of fun with it. And, it's not just the week of, it, it, was, it was four or five weeks out where it was all about the weight cut and the weight cut starts to take precedent over training and learning and having fun. And you know, the premise through the entire camp has been to enjoy the entire process and not take anything for granted. Rep better step in. Whoa, yeah, use whoa, 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 whoa. It's done. That's a ref stoppage. That's a ref stoppage. Stoppage of what? Top of the and Ben Askren. All right, guys, you can see him Saturday night, UFC 235.
25. Give it up for the champ, Tyler Whitney. And thank you, Ben Ashton. He wrote me a rap. Um, you know, okay, well, let me see. You want to try now? I'm not for everybody, so I might not be so shy. I don't I'm know, Funky man. taking on Ruthless. I'm going to leave him toothless. I'm going to leave him toothless. T Wood said, let's hit the booth. I said, yo, homie, let's do this. Once I'm done with these welterweights, even Dana's going to have to say, I'm great. Wow. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Show some love. That's a, you made that yourself. No, I got it from a cheap website. <laughs> let me get one with you. The only thing I care about is the belt. Being a champion, being at the top of the sport, the pinnacle of it, at my moment right now, that's the only thing that I care about. All I want is that title. And Tyron is in my way, and on Saturday night, I have to run right through him in order to get that belt. I feel exceptionally grateful today. You know what I mean? Like, the fight stuff is all the same for me. But it definitely, you know, it's got a bigger feel to it for sure. It's like a heartbeat in the crowd, you know what I mean? It, it just feels really good. I don't feel any different standing across from him than I do anyone else. And I know that it sounds like well, that's what I'm supposed to say, but that's just how it is. I'm stronger than I've ever been, man, and I'm fast, and I'm light on my feet, and, and, and I'm just, I feel great. Honestly, I think the way I finish Sean Jones is up to him. He wants to stay in the bank. I think we all know who the better fighter is. Sean Jones is a phenomenal martial artist. And I'm by far the best fighter in the UFC. We'll see you Saturday night. Line more to speak, ladies and gentlemen. You should burn it up for me. It's a massive pack. Yeah. Take it to the car. Hey, let's go, Greg. Hey. <laughs> John Jones. Ow! Guys, I am going to introduce you guys to my coaches. I personally believe that this is the greatest mixed martial arts coaches slab that's ever existed. And our, our mentality is we're not protecting the belt. We're attacking more belts. And so that's the mentality. And uh, that's what it's been.